Okay, and so let's start with Andromeda e-training. <coughs> okay, and so Andromeda is a um, wireless system, wireless alarm system. Uh, okay, it looks uh, like this. And so in this picture, in the next part, you can see um, uh, external siren in the center, uh, a little bit hidden, it is uh, the unit central. Uh, in the right part, it is uh, internal siren, and in the first, uh, in the first uh, uh, step, okay, I don't know, it is uh, the keyboard, LCD keyboard, and the remote control. Okay, I go ahead. Okay, <coughs> uh, fields of application. Um, our alarm system <coughs> is a very good alarm system, but um, yeah, only for residential uh, application um, because uh, there is uh, yeah, a technical limit, and I explain what is this uh, technical limit. Is uh, it should be um, uh, the remote control, yeah, uh, the remote access to the system, because for example here in BFD we have. Uh, um, uh, web uh, web access with uh, proxy, okay, um, and so for this reason it is um, very difficult, not impossible, but very difficult to access to uh, to uh, our local network from outside, and so for this reason you cannot use. Uh, all the potential of Andromeda if you want to install it in uh, 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 industrial application. And so if you have a residential application, I mean uh, a house, uh, apartment block, okay, and so house, I don't know if you see my mouse, and so house, apartment block, but uh, hotel, or shops, um, or industry, I don't know if it is a good idea. It is possible to use it, but uh, probably <coughs> you cannot use uh, remote access. And so by internet, you will um, uh, cannot uh, connect your computer um, outside of the local network to uh, alarm, Android alarm system. Okay. But we will see <coughs> how uh, it's working a little bit uh, later. Okay, and there is another uh, reason for um, uh, residential installation. I mean, <coughs> if you want to install Andromeda system in a, a bank or uh, um, or a shop where where you can uh, buy. Uh, gold or diamond uh, signature. Uh, gold, uh, you know, jewels, uh, uh, no jewels, you know, for women. Okay, you you see gold. Mm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, this kind of shop, bank or jewels, um, they want to to buy a very very expensive system very expensive system, and so they don't need our system. Okay, we go ahead. Uh, if it's not clear, um, remember that you can send a message, because now I don't see the message, but Setimo um, can see all your messages. Uh, and Setimo and is Christina. And so if you want to send a message, um, uh, only to set him on, uh, uh, you can select Christina. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, advantages. <clears throat> and so, yeah, it is a wireless alarm system. And so, the first advantage is uh, you don't need to, uh, to have, uh, you don't need to have a wire from the unit central to, uh, uh, to the devices, and so it is very, very easy and fast to install. It is user friendly <coughs> because our system um, with Andromeda 
Não, não sei se não. Ok, do you hear me? Não, não, não. Não, não, não. Ok. Ok, sorry. Então, com o Andromeda System, você pode conectar a interface web do Andromeda muito, muito fácil. And so for this reason, it is user friendly, and we will see um, how does it work. Um, inside of the central unit, you have a GSM module, um, and so it is integrated inside of the central unit. And if you buy the kit, it is a little bit better. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, see. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And so the GSM module, if you buy the kit, Andromeda kit, you will get GSM module inside the central unit. It will be uh, an optional, the GSM module, but uh, if you buy the kit, you will get the GSM module, okay? Uh, and then you have a phone dialer module. It is PSTN, PSTN or RTC module. Uh, if you want to receive some uh, vocals messages on your on your telephone when there is a, a intrusion, when there is a, um, a burglar, burglar, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, uh, IP module is integrated in the central unit, and so you will. Um, you will find IP module, it is a, a, a very big advantage of our system. It is not optional, and so it means that uh, from any computer with uh, any browser, uh, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, anything you want, you can connect your computer very easily to the unit central. Uh, without install any software on your computer. And so you just need to connect your computer to the unit central, to the IP module of the unit central, and you will communicate directly with the unit central. And so it is very, very easy. <coughs> As uh, residential use, but you can uh, program uh, until 50 devices, 50 devices, and so you can, yeah. You can uh, use a lot of devices. Um, the range of the devices, uh, the radio range, is uh, up to up to uh, 200 meters. 200 meters, and so it is a very very big distance. For this reason, uh, Yeriko, uh, yeah, Yeriko. Yeriko uh, Ask us uh, something. Uh, SIM card, yeah, you need. If you if you want to use GSM module, you have to 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 buy a SIM card. And so yeah, a normal SIM card uh, with uh, uh, maybe you can spend uh, in euro. Uh, I don't know ten or ten ten euro. Uh, Local SIM card? Yeah, 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 local SIM card. No, no problem. Uh, it is, uh, GSM module is uh, like uh, a normal uh, smartphone, like uh, a normal uh, uh, mm, telephone. And also you can use a prepaid SIM card. Uh, as you want, it is a choice or the customer has to, to, to choose uh, what kind of uh, SIM card he wants to, to use, prepaid or or not, as you want. Okay, uh, I go back to to the range of the devices, and so 50 up to 50 devices and 200 uh, uh, meters between the unit control and uh, uh, the devices. Um, for this reason, because we have a very big range, we don't have repetitors. Because a lot of customers ask you, um, ask us, and will ask you, but do you have some repetitors? They ask for the repetitors because uh, the competitors doesn't have a good range uh, between unit central and devices. Maybe they have 
50 meters, 100 meters, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, we have 200 meters and so for residential use, you don't need to have uh, repetitors, okay? Okay, uh, advantages, uh, radio frequency, we have uh, uh, two radio frequency, if you want to know this, everything is written on, on the instructions, but we, uh, the two frequencies are um, uh, 433 dot 42 megahertz and 433 dot 92 megahertz. Uh, two words about our batteries. Uh, we have uh, some devices uh, as uh, uh, standard batteries, alkaline or lithium batteries, but the most important is the lifetime of the, of the batteries. You have until four years uh, of lifetime for the batteries. It depends on accessory, but some of them have three years and some of them four years. Uh, the good thing, uh, but it depends on uh, the installer, uh, it is standard batteries, and so you can find them uh, everywhere. Um, okay. And then, on the right part of the screen, of the desktop, uh, you see uh, house, and you see uh, that we can manage until three areas uh, separately. And so, for example, <coughs> um, a very simple example, because most of the time uh, the customer wants to use maybe two areas, uh, the night area and the day area. I mean, during the day, nobody is home, and so, and so, um, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> I was uh, re reading uh, the message. Um, and so during the day, you can uh, activate everything. And so um, infrared uh, um, devices, movement devices, and uh, door devices. And so everything is activated. And during the night, for example, you can activate only one area only the night area, and um, uh, I mean, we will activate only door and window uh, devices. Why we activate, we will activate only this kind of devices? It is because the, the house is protected, but if during the night you want to go in the kitchen because you want to drink some uh, water, a glass of water, uh, you can move inside your house uh, uh, free without uh, uh, sound, the internal and external sirens. Okay, I don't know if it is very clear. <coughs> um, if not, send a message. Uh, okay, and so yeah, two areas, I think, night areas. Uh, and uh, day area where um, I, I will activate every two during the day. Okay. And so <coughs> with Andromeda system, we have four kind of uh, devices. The first one is uh, uh, devices who will detect uh, an intrusion, uh, burglar, for example. Uh, the second kind of device is uh, siren to dissuade the intrusion. The third uh, kind of group of devices is uh, uh, the unit central. It is the heart of the brain of the system. And he will, <coughs> inside the uh, unit central, you can have GSM module or, or telephone module, or PSTN module in order to alert, uh, to alert you by yeah, phone tra transmission. And <clears throat> the last group of devices is uh, uh, remote control, uh, keyboard, uh, yeah, keyboard, yeah, um, and badge, 
online. Uh, okay, you will use this kind of devices to activate or disactivate the system. Okay. Okay, and so we start with um, uh, the remote control. And so with the remote control, you can, uh, do you see on the desktop my mouse? And so you can activate A and only A, and you or you can activate B, and so, and so uh, area B, or you can activate everything. And so one, two, three buttons, and the last one, of course, it is to deactivate everything. Um, it is our choice to have only four buttons on the remote control, and so we can activate only A, B, and everything, but we cannot activate C. It's like this. It is our choice. On the keyboard, you can activate only A, or only B, or only C, or everything. Or, for example, A plus B, or A plus C, or B plus C, as you want. Uh, you can activate and disactivate uh, using passwords. And so if you want to activate everything, you will press on on. And then you will need to uh, 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 to press on your password. Uh, the default password is 1111. Or the second solution is activate everything with pressing on, and then uh, uh, take a badge um, and pass the badge in front of uh, a proximity reader. It is here next to off. Okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, now with the keyboard, and so you can activate and disactivate everything. Uh, set the system because you can uh, make the configuration, uh, the setting of the system with the keyboard, but it's not user friendly. <coughs> and so, if you want to do this, okay, good. Uh, uh, I think it's not a good solution because. Uh, you can do everything uh, with the computer, and so my uh, 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 advice, yeah, my advice is to use uh, a computer and to connect the computer to, to the unit control. It is very, very easy, uh, and it is very uh, intuitive, and so I never use uh, the keyboard um, for the setting of the system. Never, never, never. But yeah, you can do as you want. <clears throat> okay, and so you have some information on the keyboard, a very interesting information, because if, for example, you go back to your house, uh, you should know if something is happened in your house, because if you have GSM module or PSTN module, you will receive a message, a vocal, message or SMS on your uh, on your telephone. Uh, and so, yeah, usually you know immediately what happened in, in your house, but if you don't know it, I don't know why, but if you don't know it, when you go back to your house, you see immediately uh, uh, red LED flashing on your keyboard, and as soon you disconnect, you disactivate the alarm system, you will see what what is happened, and so maybe there is uh, an intrusion uh, in uh, which uh, uh, zone. You know if a door is um, is uh, um, remained opened. Uh, you have uh, information ab about batteries. You have information about radio communication. You can know a lot of uh, information with uh, uh, with a keyboard. But sincerely, <laughs> when you will have uh, SMS communication with GSM and uh, telephone communication, and if you um, uh, make the setting in order to have the remote connection by internet with application on your smartphone, if you have a smartphone, uh, as soon as there is a problem on your system, 
maybe you are uh, you are in BSD, you are uh, working in BSD, you will receive a phone call or you will receive an SMS on your smartphone. And as soon as you receive the information, you connect your smartphone or your computer to the system and you will see immediately and exactly what is happened uh, in your house. And so, okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. But when you will go back to your house, we, you will see information of your keyboard on your keyboard. Okay, I go ahead. Okay, uh, here, okay, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> okay. With a uh, remote control, and so you can activate and deactivate the system, but you can also activate immediately the system in case of intrusion. And now I explain what does it mean. Um, because when we, you activate the system with badge or keyboard or, or remote control, the, the system will be really activated after two minutes. It means that when you activate the system, you have uh, less than two minutes to go out of your house. Uh, if um, now uh, another case, you are um, sleeping in your bed, okay? And you have the remote control next to you, and you hear uh, a burglar, an intrusion. Ah, and so what, what, what you want to do? You want to activate the siren. Uh, how you can do this? You take the remote control and you press for five seconds on uh, on button. And so you press for five seconds and the sirens will sound and the communication, the unit central will, will send SMS uh, and um, uh, and um, a telephone uh, um, communication. Okay, uh, another possibility <coughs> is to use uh, the remote control is if you want to um, uh, activate it, okay. <clears throat> you have also the possibility to press an off for five seconds if you want to change the batteries because on all our uh, devices, you have uh, uh, an auto protection, you know, auto protection, um, my um, a switch. And if you want to change the batteries, you ha you have to open the devices. Okay, temper temper switch. Thank you, Jericho. Uh, you have a temper switch, but if you open <laughs> this temper, everything will sound immediately. Also, if the system is deactivated. And so, uh, if you want to, if you don't want to to hear the siren, um, it will be better you can deactivate the temper protection, pressing for uh, five seconds on off of the remote control. And then you have a beige, and so beige, it is very uh, simple use. Uh, uh, you can activate and deactivate the system. Okay, okay. now, <coughs> Mark, is there on, on? Uh, Mark, hi Mark. Uh, yeah, you have uh, a temper uh, protection on uh, all the devices. Uh, on some of uh, devices, you have two tempered, and so if uh, you have uh, the wall, I don't know if you see me. If you have, uh, this is the wall. This is the devices. You have a tempered between uh, devices and the wall. And if someone wants to open the devices to change the battery, you have a second uh, temper uh, protection. Uh, uh, sirens have two temper protection. Uh, unit central has two temper protection. But infrared uh, a device or uh, all this kind of device to detect has only one tempered protection. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, these are um, 
uh, all our devices. Now we can see by one by one. Okay. And so the first one is um, the normal infrared uh, movement uh, detectors. Uh, okay, and so you see how it works. Huh? Uh, 12 meters, 90 degrees. Okay, good. <coughs> um, for uh, um, pets, uh, and so yeah, you have to install it at uh, this height, and the detector doesn't see the pets. But be careful because the pets can jump, and so <laughs> if the pet jump, uh, I I think I believe you. If you have a pet in your house. Uh, it should be a cat or a dog, and a cat uh, can jump, and a dog can jump. And so be careful if you are using this detector, because you you will can have uh, some uh, false alarm, and it's not very nice, and so be careful to this. Uh, there is something to say about this kind of uh, uh, technology because we have uh, good uh, movement detectors because uh, it will give uh, an alarm only if you have two uh, uh, two uh, reasons. First one, movement, and the second one, and so movement and uh, heat, heat, yeah, and so, if someone is moving in front of the detector, it will not sound. You need two reasons uh, together, and so heat uh, and movement. Okay, not only movement. <coughs> okay, body heat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. The third movement detectors is for very small um, uh, animals, uh, for mouse, for example, if you have a uh, uh, garage, uh, garage. Uh, maybe if you have some uh, mouse in your garage, you can use uh, this kind of uh, detector. Why not? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> and this one is very it is a very good movement detector. It is for external det detector for, for outside of your house. It is not very nice, but it is a very very good quality of uh, uh, external detector. And yeah, it is very <laughs> good also because um, uh, okay with alarm system, uh, the burglar can uh, break your window. And uh, as as soon he's inside of your house, everything will sound, and maybe he will be a friend, and he will uh, escape from your house. Okay, but he break your window, and a window, uh, yeah, uh, is very exp expensive to to change. If you use an external uh, detector. Uh, the burglar will uh, will go will go out will escape before to break the window and so it is very good. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, of course, the technology of this uh, external detector is a little bit different from internal detector because if there is a movement, if there is some uh, animals. The system uh, uh, doesn't uh, sound okay. Okay, now another kind of uh, device detector is opening detector, and so for window, for uh, for uh, doors, we have also the same kind of detector, and so window or door uh, opening, but also I don't know if you see very well this. You can fix this uh, on the window, and if there is a vibration on the window, or if someone breaks the window, 
uh, the system will uh, will sounds will be activated. If someone, of course, open the window or the door, uh, it will sound. So you you have the choice. Uh, this one can be uh, white or brown, and this kind, this detector can be white or brown. So two colors. Next one, opening detector for garage door. Uh, okay, it is a magnetic uh, system. Here you can see how to install it, and so these parts. It's very strong, and so no problem if you uh, if you pass over this detector with uh, your your car, no problem. And you fix the magnet on the door, and so and this is a radio module who will communicate with the unit control. And so as soon as the door uh, will open, the system will sound. Uh, another kind of detector it is for uh, runner shutter. Um, it is a good system because as soon there is a movement, because this is okay. First, this is a radio module. This is uh, uh, the box, and so yeah, the module. Uh, you will put the module here inside the cases of uh, the rudder shutter, and you will fix here. There is a wire with a spring. You fix this in the back of the rudder shutter. And so you pull on this, you fix with a very small screw on the back of the roller shutter, okay, here, for example. And as soon as there is a movement of five centimeters that can be in opening or closing direction, uh, doesn't matter. As soon as there is a movement of plus or minus five centimeters, uh, the system will sound. Okay. Next one, audio sonic and volumetric uh, detector. These can uh, protect uh, um, uh, a room of three meters per three meters, and so nine square meters. Uh, because if you have a lot of access. For example, a window, another window, another window, a door. If you have, if you want to protect everything, you have to use four detectors. Using this audio and volumetric detector, you can put only one detector, and as soon someone it is a little bit like a, a car alarm system, as soon someone open a door. Uh, uh, or a window, the system will see the difference of uh, of air volume inside the room, and it will activate alarm system. Um, and so this is for volumetric uh, detection. There is uh, also audio sonic detection. If the system, the detector will hear uh, a, a glass breaking. It will sound, and, to, and so you have two functions, volumetric and uh, audiosonic. Okay. Uh, okay, another kind of uh, detectors, it is domestic fault, and so it is not for intrusions, but for domestic fault. For uh, water presence, for smoke, and for uh, blackout. And so, if you, <coughs> if there is a problem with water in your house, uh, it is this is a two electrode, and so you have to install it uh, in the back uh, part, very next to to the floor, of course. And as soon as soon there is water on your floor, uh, the system will sound and send messages. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It is the same for smoke detector. As soon there is a sm smoke uh, on your house, on your room, it will send uh, uh, SMS. Uh, uh, 
Inside the smoke detector, you have also uh, a siren, an independent siren. It means that you can uh, uh, you can uh, sell the smoke detector to someone, to the customer, without Andromeda system. But, and it is a very interesting uh, thing, if the customer wants to buy an alarm system, he will have the possibility to program our smoke detector on Andromeda alarm system. Because if you are, if you are in your house and there is a fire, okay, the system will, uh, will sound, the smoke detector will sound, you wake up and you can escape and you are safe. Okay, perfect. And maybe you can also save your house. Second possibility, you are not in your house. Okay, there is fire. Uh, you are safe because uh, you are not in your house, but your house will be burned. Maybe if you want to have a chance, uh, uh, yeah, a chance to save your house, if you have our smoke detector with uh, our Andromeda alarm system, and so the smoke detector will be uh, a program on our Andromeda. It means that as soon as there is a fire in your house uh, and the smoke detector uh, detects the fire on the smoke, Andromeda will send you an SMS saying, be careful, uh, fire in your house. And so you have to phone immediately to to uh, uh, fire department and say, hey, can you go to my house, please? <clears throat> okay, and maybe you can save your house. I hope, I hope you will have the time. <clears throat> okay, uh, the third uh, domestic um, detector is for blackout. Uh, it is very simple. Uh, there is, uh, uh, it's working with battery. This is only in order to know if you have the a power supply, the 230 volt power supply in your house or not. You can set it, of course. You can say to the system, uh, if, for example, after 10 minutes, I don't know, 50 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, you there is no power supply in your house, okay, tell me there is no power supply. Uh, that's all. Uh, on Andromeda, uh, on the central unit, we have also this f function of blackout, and so I don't know. It depends on how is uh, is done uh, the electricity in your house. But if you have one uh, floor, uh, no, one uh, first floor. Yeah, if first you floor. have one floor, yeah, yeah with uh, where is connected. The unit central, you can have for the first floor uh, the blackout detection. And in, uh, I don't know, the first floor, uh, the electricity is independent with another interrupter uh, switch, for example. You can use this, uh, this blackout uh, detector like this. Uh, when you are uh, working, I don't know, when you are not in your house, as soon there is a blackout on the first uh, on the uh, on the floor where there is a, a unit central, you will know. Okay, uh, there is not anymore a power supply in the floor, but if uh, the power supply is missing. On the first floor, you will receive another message. Okay, there is not any more power supply in the first floor. Okay, I don't know if it is very clear, but okay. Okay, uh, another kind uh, of um, device, completely different, uh, is uh, uh, cameras. And so we have two kinds of cameras, internal camera and external camera. The first one can be connected to our uh, modem, 
uh, with Ethernet cable or G45 or in Wi-Fi, and so you can communicate with your modem or or with uh, wire or with Wi-Fi. And external camera is connected uh, um, to the modem with uh, cable, and so with uh, Ethernet cable. Only Ethernet cable, not with Wi-Fi. <coughs> um, the communication is done uh, between uh, the camera and the server. It means that if you want to use camera, until four camera, because you remember that you can program until 50 devices on the Andromeda system, and the device can be a badge, can be a siren, can be a keyboard, can be a movement detector. Everything is one. And so you, sh you can, if you want, use I don't know, uh, five keyboards if you want. No problem. Um, you will have only one unit control, and after this, you have 49 devices maximum, and you can do everything you want. Uh, but for camera, you have until you can connect until four camera, okay? Four camera, as you want can be four internal camera, uh, four external camera, or two internal, two uh, external, as you want, as you prefer. Maximum four. Uh, <clears throat> the camera uh, communicates with the server, Andromeda server. It means it, it is not communicate with unit control, and it is a big advantage of this because if the burglar uh, go inside your house if he break uh, if he breaks your unit control and your camera it is too late because all all the photo and video are stored on our server and so uh, it is a very big advantage of our system but it means that if you want to use a camera and only our camera um, you have to use, uh, you have to create first an account on our server, Andromeda server. It is very easy to do, but you have to do it. If not, you cannot communicate with our cameras. Um, for information, we, we made um, a video training um, uh, on how to create the account on Andromeda server, there is another uh, video on how to program internal camera, a third video on how to program external camera. But uh, we have to mount uh, the video because we have all uh, small video. We have to put all the video together, together. Uh, it is a very big job, and as soon uh, this job is done, we put uh, these videos on uh, YouTube, also on internet, on internet, on uh, uh, BFT Academy um, uh, on YouTube. Okay. Uh, but as soon it will be available, uh, we will <coughs> send you uh, a message uh, in order to yeah to to say to you now you can use it. Okay. Uh, <coughs> okay. I go ahead. What time is it? Okay. Um, we have uh, uh, twenty minutes. And so, internal camera must be uh, connected to the modem and to the power supply, of course, and the modem to the unit control and create an account. <coughs> or second possibility, the tele internal telecamera uh, must be connected to the power supply and could be also communicate with the router with the Wi-Fi. For the external IP camera, it is only with wire. 
connected to, to, to the modem. Uh, with, um, sorry, with um, our IP camera, you can do three things. The most important is the, when there is an intrusion, automatically the camera will uh, uh, will uh, take some photos and will store these photos on our server. This is the first possibility, the most important. The second possibility is if you want to know what happened in your house, you can connect your smartphone or your computer um, to um, to to your system and see what happened in your house. Usually, if you are not in your house, nothing happened in your house. But if you want to, I don't know, to check if if you have uh, your children, why not in your house? If you want to check if uh, everything is okay, you can make uh, you can use the live uh, function in order to yeah. To, to know if everything is okay with your children or I don't know what. And this is the second possibility. Third possibility is uh, to activate uh, tele, uh, uh, supervising and supervising, you don't see immediately what happened, but you make some video and this video is stored on the server because uh, with a live function you see what happened in a, in live, but you don't store images on the server. With supervising, <coughs> you can also uh, uh, make a video for two minutes and store uh, the video on the server. Like this, you can see what what is happening in your house. Maybe two days later, or as you want. But I think the most important is the first function uh, is in case of intrusion because it is an alarm system. In case of intrusion, uh, the system will store all photo and video on the server. And if you want, you can. Uh, print the photo, you can uh, store the photo on your computer, send by email the photo, it is very, very intuitive, very easy to do, very, very easy to do. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, I go ahead. Uh, okay, now we will speak about uh, Siren, but it is very easy. Uh, the first one, uh, internal siren, is uh, to break uh, the ears of the burglar uh, to make a maximum of, uh, of noise, that's all, and to wake up uh, you if you are sleeping. Uh, <coughs> um, the second siren, is external siren. Uh, the external siren, the function is to uh, desirate the uh, intrusion because if the burglar uh, is in front of your house, he will see external siren and he, he will think, I, uh, I hope, no, no, I don't go inside in this house, I go in uh, another house. Um, uh, second function is yeah uh, the sound and so uh, your neighbor or the police department I don't know can know uh, uh, oh okay someone is uh, go inside in your house and the third function is your neighbor uh, can can know what is the house because there is a flashing light with a LED flashing light. And so I hear there is an alarm, and I know where because I see the flashing light. Okay. Uh, okay. When there is an intrusion, the first 
siren to sound is the internal siren. First, internal siren will sound, and 10 seconds after, external siren will sound. It is like this because <coughs> if you uh, uh, if you forget uh, your alarm system when you go when you go back in your house and so you forget to uh, press on off sorry to press off or on the remote control uh, it is what happened with me <laughs> and so you go inside of your house and so oh oh I forget to to uh, to deactivate the alarm system and uh, and you will uh, hear internal siren but not immediately external siren uh, like this you don't uh, dis disturb your neighbor it is also something very important okay uh, unit control unit control you can uh, have a gsm module and pstn module and so uh, vocal communication and sms communication I go ahead a little bit quickly because we have uh, a few time. Uh, the kit is composed of unit control with GSM module, window or opening module, uh, movement module, internal siren, one page, one remote control, one keyboard. Uh, on the instructions, um, uh, if you have time, have a look to the instructions. There is there are a lot of pages, but it is explained very very well. Um, if someone has time and he reads all the instructions, he will uh, becomes uh, an expert of Andromeda. Um, okay, and so yeah. Uh, okay, uh, and so this is an information about uh, a radio tran transmission, and so we have until 200 meters in a free uh, application. But of course, if you have a metal uh, wall, why not? Uh, the radio transmission will be very bad. And so, okay, it is an example. Um, but uh, a real example is uh, uh, in the house of my brother <laughs> um, between the unit control and the each garage. There is maybe uh, 20, 30 meters with a lot of wall, and we we will have we we have a very good radio tr transmission. And so in a normal house, there is no problem of transmission. Okay, basic installation. Okay, it is explained how to change battery. Okay, blah, 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 zone. And so A, B, C, and so three areas. Um, all the devices can be set as A area or B or C area or AT as a time area because when you go when you go inside your house you can say this detector doesn't activate immediately a siren uh, but it will activate after I don't know one minute if you want the system like this you have the time to go inside your house to go to, to the keyboard and deactivate the alarm without uh, sound the, the siren, okay? <clears throat> like this, and so A, B, C, and delay uh, uh, area. How to program the devices is very simple. You just need to press on the unit control uh, the prog button and then press uh, the button of the devices can be off or off on the remote control or, or this kind of button or this kind of button on the device is very easy. Okay, and so basic installation, you can set the system with the keyboard if you want. It's not the best, it is really not the best, but you can do it. 
You can do everything with a keyboard. All the settings you want, you can do it with a keyboard. But I think the best one and the user-friendly solution for the setting is to co to uh, communicate to uh, connect your computer by Wi-Fi or, or cable as you want to your modem and the modem to the unit central. That's all. Uh, and then you have to know what is the name of your unit central. Uh, by default, the name of the unit central is, and so IP address of the um, unit central, to the IP module of the unit central is 192.168.1.1. Dot three. This is the name of the unit control. If you are not sure of the name of the unit control, you just need to go inside the keyboard on the uh, installer menu and press 780. And you will see on the display of the keyboard the IP address of your unit control. That's all. It is very, very easy. And then you open a browser, uh, Google Chrome, for example, and you write on your browser y921680.3. Press Enter, and then you will see this. You don't install nothing on your computer. You only uh, write the IP address of your unit central on Google Chrome and you access to uh, to the unit central and that's all. Uh, now firewall, firewall is uh, your modem. Uh, and then you have two uh, protection to access to, to the central. Not firewall, but two protection. Access code, and so if you want to access as installer, the access code will be 2222, but it, everything is written huh, on the instruction. And F3, F3 is a, a random authentication code. The default authentication code is, uh, you can find it on the instructions. Of course, you will have to change it after, but if you want to uh, access as installer, you will have to uh, choose uh, to um, uh, press 2222 as password and as authentication code. If the system asks you, I don't know, E3, E3 is 8707. And then you press OK. And what happened? You go inside of the menu of the unit control. And so it is very intuitive, but you have general settings, advanced settings, device list, if you want to, to uh, give a name to the uh, detector, for example, if uh, you put a movement detector inside your kitchen, maybe you can uh, name this, uh, you can name this detector kitchen, like this, when you receive, when you will receive uh, an SMS on your telephone, you will receive uh, uh, intrusion on a kitchen, for example. Like this, you can know immediately what happened in your house. Event log, you can see the 500 uh, last events. Uh, you can change your access code, you can change, uh, you can add uh, phone numbers for uh, PSTN module, phone numbers for GSM module. <coughs> you can set an automatic arming for, yeah, automatically uh, the system can be armed, activated. You can also uh, manage uh, light and roller shutter. Uh, if you want to 
It is a little bit as domotic system, but very small, small domotic system because it's not domotic system, it is an alarm system. But if you have, uh, if you buy some external radio module, radio receiver, RTS, you will have the possibility to active, uh, to open uh, runner shutters, to uh, uh, switch on the lights, also from your smartphone, from any computer in the world. You will have also the possibility to set the system uh, in uh, an automatic mode. I mean, if, if there is an intrusion, you can say to the system, okay, uh, uh, switch on the light, close the runner shutter, close the runner shutter if it's not closed, why not? And so you can also manage and control lights and uh, runner shutter. There is a third uh, radio receiver is uh, 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 universal universal uh, radio receiver. It is it is used if you want to control. I don't know maybe a demos BT. Uh, or garage door, if you have a Bodicelli or EOS, or also if you have uh, a motor from uh, 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 competitors, no problem, because it is a universal radio receiver, and so you will close a contact, a dry contact, and so you can do whatever you want. And so from the keyboard, you can also open and close uh, your your gate or your uh, garage door as you want okay i go back to the menu and so you have also uh, um, the possibility to connect to the cameras and you have some information about network and interface <coughs> uh, <coughs> because when you want to um, Activate remote control, and so to access to your system from any computer in the world, you have to uh, deactivate DHCP. You can also change the name, the IP address of your unit control, uh, and you have also uh, uh, beep, no. And you have also, uh, okay, uh, okay, we will see this uh, uh, later. Okay, I go ahead. Uh, something else, as soon you go inside of the menu, uh, you will see immediately the state of your uh, system. And so everything is off, battery is okay, radio communication is okay, all the doors are okay, there is no intrusion, memorize, uh, the temper protection are all okay, the GSM is okay, um, okay, remote control, <clears throat> now two words about remote control, this is, is my house, this is, is my modem, uh, and what we will want to do is, from any computer, from my smartphone, with my application, it is all free. It is important, this, all free. If I want to communicate to my central, unit central, to my Andromeda system, I need first to create an account on Andromeda server, and then to set my modem. It is very easy to do, and I, um, I made some video about it. It's not available now, but uh, very soon it will be available. And so <coughs> uh, um, the working mode is from my, from any computer, from internet. I will uh, connect my computer to internet when all, when everything will be, will be done huh? or uh, the settings 
uh, of my modem will be down, and when I will uh, uh, create my account, then from any computer I will connect to internet, and then to uh, my account on Andromeda server, and then the system will communicate uh, to my Andromeda system, but it is uh, mm, transparent. I don't see this. At the end, I just <laughs> uh, on any computer, I open Google Chrome, I write uh, my house dot alarm Andromeda uh, dot uh, EU, and I will speak immediately with my unit control, and that's all. It is very, very easy, and it is free. And so the creation of the server, of the, of the account on Android server is free. The application for Android and for Apple is free. Uh, I don't need to, uh, to install the software on the computer, this computer or this or this. I just communicate to the unit control by um, uh, <coughs> um, by uh, using my uh, browser, internet, and that's all. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't explain more uh, the remote control because it's not uh, it's not. Um, uh, it's not the goal. It's not the goal of this training because it is only uh, elementary training. Uh, okay, this is, is what you have to to, uh, to set on the menu, and so re remote control just need. Okay, I want the remote control access, and uh, okay, um, okay, uh, I think it is uh, finished. Uh, yeah, okay, last, uh, <coughs> last, uh, uh, screenshot. It is about a camera. For example, here we programmed, uh, one internal and one external camera. You can access to the live system, to the, uh, uh, su supervising, supervising, and access to all images or set Wi-Fi parameters for the internal camera, for example. And that's all. Okay, I, I finished. Um, I hope everything 